to judge this challenge, I've invited the editor and chief of the most critically acclaimed food site on the internet. Please welcome Tanya Steele from Epicurious. What? That's crazy. Like, Epicurious is huge. I'm like, how many forks is she going to give my dish? Let's start off with Clemenza yes, and Barbie. Let's go. Barbie. Barbie and Clemenza lead off the Southern Cuisine Challenge with their take on catfish and collard greens. I did black and catfish with bacon braised collard greens. Visually, I think it's very attractive. And this is beautifully fried. Thank you. Great start. Well done, Bobby. Shit. You know, she's getting some good compliments here. Now I'm a little worried. Clemenza, please. We have New York style catfish poor boy, also some bacon braised collard greens. Collard greens is very nice. The yes. bacon really comes through. Catfish, I think, could have been cooked a little bit more. It's a little bit undercooked. Really? I looked at it, I didn't see what she was saying. She should have had an orgasm in her mouth, because that was a beautiful sandwich. Or is there one dish in your mind that has an advantage? Barbie's dish. Yeah, Barbie. Barbie. Yeah. Congratulations. One nil to the ladies. Yes! I got a point for the red team. And I, I beat Clemenza. Woohoo! Next up, pork chop. Kimmy and Brian, let's go. Come on, Kimmy. Come on, Brian. I got a banging ass plate, man. I know Brian's about to go down with my plate. Uh. I have an oregano panko crusted pork chop. The grits have cream, sauteed bacon, mm. Monterey Jack cheese, and Swiss cheese as well. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Sounds yes. incredible. But I mean, visually, looks slightly dull. Anything else that came to mind or? No, I just, that's how we eat it back home. Of course. Chef Ramsay always gives me criticism on my plating. Dude, just taste the fucking shit. Wow. The grits are delicious. One of the best grits I've ever had. I could eat just buckets full of that. Pops in the mouth. They love the Kimmy's dish, so I've got my work cut out for me. Brian, please. What we have here is a southern rubbed bone-in pork chop. It's on top of buttermilk brown sugar grits. And it's a very beautiful yeah. plate. It just looks so appetizing. Okay. Oh my god. Undercooked. Damn, what a shame. Please don't eat that. You cannot serve raw pork. I almost honestly thought of, of grabbing the plate and throwing it against the wall. I'm so ashamed of what I put out there. Um, Tanya, I think I know which way you're going. Yeah, but... Kimmy. Good job, Kimmy. Good job, Kimmy. Kimmy, you make grits glamorous. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Everybody loves my grits. They're just amazing. Like, how can you say no to grits from a southern bitch? With the red team up two to nothing. Next up, the battle of the fried chicken. Let's go. Christina has a chance to clinch the victory. I made a bacon gravy, mac and cheese, and then a little fried kale chip on top. What happened with the batter? The batter, soggy. What a shame, because you think of fried yeah. chicken, you think of the coating. Exactly. But her soggy chicken leaves an opening for Justin's buttermilk fried chicken with lobster mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That mac and cheese is beautiful. Red or blue? Justin. Blue. Thank you very much. Good job. Yes. Justin's tasteful dish keeps the blue team in the game. Two to one. Last battle it is the meatloaf. With the red team leading by one, Robin must get the point over Dana to force a tiebreaker. I have an open faced meatloaf sandwich. I also made a sweet potato puree. The nutmeg really comes out in this. Yummy. Thank you. Yes! You didn't think I had that in me. Mm. I've got a huge hit of salt, though. I need salt. And it's a shame because it looks fantastic. Sorry, chef. Damn, dude. Hopefully Dana's dish sucks. Dana, please. What I have for you is a bacon-wrapped mini meatloaf. You have the sweet potato puree and a little bit of honey for some sweetness. Visually, I mean, it's a very posh-looking meatloaf. It is very posh. <laughs> Doesn't look posh to me. It looks like two balls wrapped in fucking bacon. Oh my god, that puree is so incredibly good. I know I'm getting the point. That meatloaf sandwich ain't got nothing on my mini meatloafs. I can taste the meat a little overpowering. A touch too much lamb in there. Slightly gamey. Yeah. Red or blue, bearing in mind if it's blue, it's a draw. We go to the strongest dish in each team. If it's red, they win three to one. Oh, wow. It's down to you, please. Boy, this is kind of hard. I have to go with my heart. Red. Yeah. Ladies, congratulations. Yeah! yeah! We finally won a freaking reward! We are off of our losing streak. We are off! Tanya, from the winning team, 
Which dish sticks out in your mind as the best? I have to say, I think I'm going to go with the meatballs. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Dana. There you go, your Dana. recipe and dish oh, is going to be oh, featured oh. on Epicurus. Oh, my God. And that is Thank the most so visited much. food site on the internet. Nice job, Dana. It sucks. I was so close.